Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. If he's been good, tell him thank you. Thank you. If he's been better than you think of yourself, tell him thank you. Thank you. Give your hand for about 10 seconds and begin to give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, give him praise. I'm glad, and uh, I tell you what, we've had enough food for the benedictions we already um, given because these preachers, my God, right, right. don't never judge a book by its cover. Right. And you never know what's in the package until you unwrap it and you get on the But we bless the Lord. We bless the Lord here today. Um, uh, my wife is here. She was happy to sing this song, so I try to do this every time. I preach work life. The choir is not here, so I'll, I'll sing in this in their stead. Amen. Amen. Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases. People are slipping away. The economy's down. People can't get it up. Pay. Yeah. But as for me, all I can say, thank you, Lord. People are living in the streets, and the drug habits some say they just can't be. Muggers yeah. and robbers, no place to Chapter. Amen. Look at somebody and ask them, do you have your Bible? Mm -hmm. yeah. Caught you slipping, didn't you? <laughs> Look at them and say, do you have your Bible with you? Don't be scared to say it. <laughs> they, 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 they slipping you, let them know. Look at them and say, if you don't have your Bible, shame on you. <laughs> and you come to church <laughs> where you're supposed to have a Bible and you don't have one. Look at them, don't be scared. Yeah, but look at it with a heart of passion, with compassion, and say, well, since you don't have it, as long as your breath ain't stank, you can look with me. <laughs> don't be scared, man. <laughs> and you can look with me. Yeah, we can look. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew 6, chapter. Really enjoyed being here. I felt the presence of the Lord in this place. 
And that, that lets me know that somebody has been praying here. Oh, yes. Amen. We thank God for it. If you don't have it, say amen. If you don't, Matthew is the first book of the New Testament. Amen. amen. And it reads, Lay not up your, your lay, lay not, I'm, I'm reading King from the King James Version. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up your, for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word. We thank you for what you're about to speak to your people. Speak, God, clearly speak, articulate in the power of the Holy Spirit. I hide myself so far behind your cross, God, that the people will not see James, but that they will see the Jesus flowing through James. We thank you now for your word, and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust does corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. My topic for this evening is build up. Build up. And you know, it's so funny in our society that we sometimes put our focus and our emphasis on our priorities in the wrong places. Can I get a witness? We put a lot of focus on things. And we spend a lot of time, sometimes all of our lives, the majority of our lives, building on things. Things. We want so, uh, so bad to have a car, a nice car. Just like the neighbors, just like the people that you see on your job or in the community. Uh, uh, Lexus, Mercedes, Beamers. Some of us, you know, that's that's our dream. One day I wanna I wanna be able to own a Mercedes. One day I wanna be able to own a Lexus. One day I wanna be able to own a Jaguar. And even and we place emphasis on, on a lot of emphasis on, on jobs and, and making money. Uh, and, and, and we know that the Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil, but we disregard what the word says, and sometimes we allow the money to become our God. We place a lot of emphasis on, on, on those things that we feel are going to get us to a place where we can get notoriety, where we can be acknowledged, where we can get the praises of men, where, where people can look at us and think highly up because of what we have. How many know today that it doesn't matter what you have? It, 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 And at the end of the 
Now don't stress yourself out. It don't matter when you say it don't matter. Because it's all about, it does matter. It does matter. It does matter. But God wants us to focus on those things that are going to be eternal. Those things that are substance. We talked about the prodigal son. And he, and he went to his substance. That thing that was so important. That thing that was so valuable. That thing that meant more than anything. He lost. He went out and he wasted his substance. How many of us have something that's so powerful, but we're perverting it. We're wasting it. We're putting it to use on the enemy side and not on God's side. Look at somebody and say, I'm going to put this thing in God's hand. Because when I do it for God, it's in the best hand.
that causes a stain that's going to keep us. Something that's more valuable. The Bible says there's a treasure in earthen vessels. But you have inside you as a treasure. And you can't afford to pervert this treasure. This treasure belongs to God. This treasure needs to be glorified by God. So we have to build on those things that when the winds blow, And I said, I'm not going to get up out of this 
You better praise him now. You better praise him now. Because you don't know what morning you might wake up. And the thing that you never thought would happen to you is staring you in the face. For in about 10 seconds, I need you to give God a praise.